anyway, I'm totally new to this, trying to like figure out um, like how many people are on. Anyway, it's like a totally new thing um, being on the BeLive.tv using my desktop. So I have my phone here. I'm not broadcasting from my phone today. So I'm like feeling kind of weird about like how this mode is. It's like a completely new and random thing. So anyway, if you are here, please comment if you're catching me live. Um, Please uh, tell me where you're from. If you're one of my regular people, um, I'd love to hear from you. Of course, today is Loom Knitting Day, Tuesday. And um, of course, if I have difficulties on this broadcast, I will certainly pick it back up on my phone. So, oh, hey, Christine, you're my first comment. Good morning. I am so happy to see you. <laughs> you have no idea. Look, I can even show your comment on here. Isn't that sweet? So... <laughs> Um, I am, I am super excited. Carol is here. Yay. Welcome, Carol. Um, this is so, so cool. Oh my gosh. Yes. How am I feeling? Hi, good morning. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I feel a little tired. Um, I was like, I need to pick me up. So, um, I'm doing something. Hey, good morning. I'm just popping y'all up in here. Cause I think that's really kind of cool to show. So I can show what you guys say. Isn't that really cool? Wow, that's cool, Christine says. So, um, yes, I made my appointment. Um, I made my appointment for the, um, for the, I almost said the chiropractor. <laughs> that is not it, um, for the cardiologist. And they got me in for Wednesday at 2.15. So, um, yeah, isn't that feature cool? This feature is way cool. Um, <laughs> Oh, my sister's last name. She married a Chinese guy. So her last name is Wei, W-E-I. And we always are like, hey, you guys are way cool. Anyway, or cheese ball. Um, anyway, yeah, so I got in to uh, see the cardiologist, or I will be seeing the cardiologist, cardiologist tomorrow. So anyway, um, yeah, um, so new Facebook feature. No, yes and no. This is a company called BeLive.com. TV and it's in beta form. And so if you notice in this side of my screen, you see belive.tv and um, that is a website. And then I've got the link to be able to come in and I can actually do like a full Q and A thing and I can do a split screen. So say I wanted to um, have someone join me. I can totally do that. <laughs> um, I tested it out with Carol uh, the other day or last week. Oh my gosh, we did our own private thing. It was terrible. Um, yeah, it was it was because of um, Wi-Fi signals and everything. You have to have a good signal for it to be okay. What I want to know from you guys today is how is my sound? Can you hear me about the same as normal? Does it sound better or worse? Let's, let's pretend we're going to the eye doctor. Number one or number two, is it better or worse sound? tabulate now. <laughs> so let me, let me read what you're saying. I say heads up. If you're drinking coffee, take it easy. The caffeine can affect you. Yes. Thank you, Christine. So, um, sorry, she's, she's, she's commenting on, um, here's her little thing. Yay. That cool. I can show you stuff. Um, I asked my sister cause my sister used to be an echocardiographer. She did sonograms on hearts and worked for cardiologists. And I was like, okay, I'm going to avoid coffee. And she's like, why are you avoiding coffee? That means when you go into the cardiologist, nothing's going to repeat. So like do everything normal and just, and, and so if things show up, they need to show up. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to have my coffee. It sounds wobbly. Okay. I'm wondering if it's like my echo. Oh, I'm sure I love it. I'm like breaking out. This is a natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got like this harsh, harsh light on. <laughs> it's probably bad. I probably look awful and I really don't care because I am happy with myself. So I'm fine. Um, I look good today. Yeah, I got some. I got some sleep. Um, so I actually slept in a chair all night. I did not mean to, um, fell asleep watching a show and, um, knitting. I got some more done on my blanket and the next color started coming in. So that's it. And I know it's loom knitting day. Oh, I picked up that. Okay. So I'm going to see, I'm not sure if I can, excuse me, bra adjustment. This is real life people. 
Um, I'm going to see if I'm not sure if I can share my computer. I was thinking that maybe on this thing that I could. Um, so it looks like I can't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a link. And I first want to talk about today Cindy Wood Looms. Cindy Wood Looms, um, this is something um, called Kids Corner. And um, Cindy has come out and uh, Christy Hunter works with her. I forget what her title is, but she's real big working there. And anyway, um, Christy had responded to me, although I had written to Cindy. Um, I got their email about their kids toys and I wrote them to make sure. So their kids toys are out. Um, they are, I'm looking at my phone for my little thing here. Um, they've got a um, half inch hot pad loom and it comes with a crochet hook, 100% cotton bands for two hot pads, which is 48 bands. And the pre-order is um, $12.99 until December 10th. Um, there is a um, also a Chinese checkers game um, that comes with pegs instead of marbles, which is kind of cool. And then they don't roll away. Um, and then, uh, and you could actually play that in the car. I'm thinking like if you had some kids in the car and you could like pass it around, I don't know. Um, and then that's $12.99 on pre-order, um, you know, up until, um, December 10th. And then, um, then there's a tic-tac-toe game and they're using pegs instead of, um, little marbles. And that is $6. And up and when I keep saying up until the 10th, so all these toys and I'm gonna see if there's another toy. Oh, and then there's a rubber band loom. So if you want to do a loom, like, so it's a loom with pegs and it's a toy. Anyway, you can order all these toys up until, um, the, um, let me see if I can comment this link so you can see it. Um, comment. There we go. Now you can probably click it if it commented. Come on now. Did it, did it post it? Oh, let's see if it posted it. Come on. It needs to post. Why is this not working? Okay. Anyway, if you buy it up until the 10th, so you haven't up until the 10th, which is what day is that? We got a few more days. So if you order it um, by Saturday, so I would try and order it by Friday. Um, if you are in, um, in the United States, um, it will definitely get to you by Christmas because they're going to get them out by the 15th. And so, um, yeah, I think it says, let me, let me go back into my email from her. Cause she wrote me back. I'm sorry. Um, so I said, cause I had written her, oh my goodness, your toys are so cute and how clever and how fun. So if people buy by December 10th, end of day, 1159 PM for Utah, I was guessing could be guaranteed by Christmas. And then I asked her if it'd be okay if I broadcasted um, and told everybody. And anyway, she said they're planning on getting the pre-order ship before December 15th so they can arrive by Christmas. And I want to say that it said something online about their, um, I don't know why this, why is this work not linked? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it um, the link again, and then if someone wants to um, someone wants to write that out, they can. For some reason, my comments um, thing isn't working where I can post. Oh, you know what? I know where I can do it. Problem solving. Let me go onto my Facebook page. Um, anyway, I want to see if I can share this. Um, I wanted to share this image with the um, the thing. So thank y'all for being patient with me. Um, I wanted to share it in the broadcast with you, um, but that doesn't appear to be working like to do screen share. Okay, I sent that thing. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to be good. Thank you for your patience. I'm going to go on and and see what you guys are saying. <laughs> um, I can't tell what's the most updated. This is a very interesting new thing for me. Um, yeah, they're so cute, right, Joanne? Oh, thank you. Okay, there. So she put that on there. Thank you. I'm just seeing that. Um, yeah, it's super nice way to show links, right? So I hit this button that says show. And then when I want it to go away, I hit hide. Really cool, right? Hey, Brandy. Brandy, what's up? Little shout out to my friend, Brandy. Uh, let's see. I think we've all done that fall asleep and yarning thing. Yeah, I think what I did is I knew I was falling asleep. Like, oh, so what I was doing... <laughs> I noticed like several times I was making this and then I stopped connecting. I just started making like going flat back and forth a flat panel. And I was like, 
I'm not connecting this. And so, <laughs> so this is just my extra DP. And um, so I had like this long thing going and it wasn't connected to anything. And I was like, okay, I need to fix this. And then I need to put it down. And thankfully it made it back to my bag. And like my needle didn't, because sometimes my extra needle will like fall to my side. And then I had to like move my chair and get it because I like straight through the cracks. Um, this is one of those recliners, you know. <laughs> And then like recliner um, hook and needle and, and loom pick um, like nets like to catch it or something. I don't know, like something like like you almost have to like sit on something to like catch it. So but the echo sound sounds good. I'm noticing uh, Bridget says I'm just now reading your comment. Um, yeah. So when I sell this house, please, Lord, send someone today. Everybody's agreeing with me. Send someone today to come buy this house. And she's the same man. Okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, when I get into the new house, um, I have a craft room that is going to be dedicated for me. And it's got closed doors and it's got fridge doors on like kind of like at an angle on the side. And then the, I think the ceiling is like 12 feet or something. And so I'm going to hopefully I'm going to build up some shelves all the way up there. And then I'm going to see if maybe I can get someone to, um, um, maybe I'll put like some, um, like some drum things that have like sound barrier baffling stuff. So like, it's more like, a being in a booth and like, um, preventing the sound from either escaping my room or coming in. Um, so I'm going to see what happens. Yeah. Oh, it sounds hollow. Man, I'm wondering if I can, I wonder if this, you want to do an experiment with me? All right. If I do this, I have this big thing. And I'm wondering if I put it, oh gosh, I'm about to have a, oh, something is falling. Okay. If I put that next to me, does that do anything? <laughs> Cause I'm like, well, it's a live, I mean, it's like a thing here that has a bunch of texture on it. Does that, does that do, um, is that better or worse? <laughs> um, Bridget says, um, do you sleep well without any issues that you're feeling right now? Yeah, I'm not waking up and feeling like heart fluttery. Um, I'm, I sleep, I'm a very sound sleeper. The only thing that wakes me up is if I have a goofball dream or I have to pee. And usually I'm dreaming in my dream that I have to go to the restroom and I'm trying desperately to find a restroom and then I have to tell myself to wake up. <laughs> wake up, you have to pee. So I'm not having like the hard stuff happening in the night or I'm not aware of it because um, I'm pretty sound sleeper. So the only time I'm a light sleeper is when my babies are little. Um, and then, and then I'm, then I'm up because I'm like, Oh, I heard them, you know, but when they're, when they're big, obviously that I'm not, I haven't had that in a while because my youngest is super old enough to be <laughs> not needing that. Um, oh, love you too. Oh, um, no, still sounds echo. Echo. That's like, did your kids or do your kids watch the backyard again? There's an echo in this canyon. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure how I can share this thing. So apparently I can't share this thing. So maybe has anybody not seen the toys? Let's see. Here is, I'm seriously, I'm sure you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, oh, you can see it. Oh. You see it? Like the hot pull, pad holder loom? And then, and then look, look at this. I, I want to get this. I need, I need to place an order myself. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Anyway, those are pegs. Those are pegs. So like, oh man, I really wish you didn't see the glare. But anyway, that is one of the Cindy Wood boards. And, um, and then it has all these routed holes. And then um, you move the pegs instead. Of, and it says, and it's routed on there. It says Cindy Wood toys. Like That is so clever. And then like tic-tac-toe game, you know? Like what I'm thinking is these will be great for my road trip bag because when we go out of town now, like when we go on trips now, we actually like to rent a house instead of staying at a hotel because 
let's face it, if you're in my family, you're loud. Um, <laughs> so we like to do that. So <laughs> I like to get like as compactable like toys, like like games, and put throw them in a bag. So I'm thinking, man, throw all the pegs, throw all the that, stack these toys up because if they're just like a couple of boards, like the tic tac toe and the Chinese checkers, they can totally stack. And then throw the pegs in there. And then this hot loom pad, like I'm thinking, I would like that because the metal one's not really, not really fond of. So anyway, kudos to the people at Cindy Wood, which is really her family. And then there's a rubber band loom. So if you want to um, spend money on that instead of buying a regular rubber band loom, do that. Because I think that's pretty awesome. So kudos to them. Um, I don't have any deals on them. Um, also, they have a, a Facebook group called I Love Cindy Wood Looms. And um, this is, by the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just, I saw it and I was like, these are too cute. Not to tell people, oh, they have a keychain, keychain. Someone's probably saying keychain and I'm not even paying attention. They have a Cindy Wood keychain. It's not on my thing. Anyway, look for their site. There's a little tiny, tiny peg at, I mean, um, loom. Um, let me go to looms. I don't know what it's called. It's probably says keychain or something. Anyway, they have an eight peg ruffle scarf loom. And um, so like, if you like to make those ruffle scarves, um, they have the loom like that where the pegs are facing outward. And what you do is you put the ruffle scarf stuff on the outside and knit it over. And um, it's super easy. And uh, yeah, oh, here it is. New loom keychain zipper pool. Um, I, I think maybe you can clip it on your zipper. And then, um, and then, you know, zip it up or put it on like a bag or something. And I really wish that I could, oh, I could probably take a picture and kind of show it. Um, I hate to do that, but that's the only way I know how to show you. Okay, this is it. Isn't that cool? It's a terrible picture. Terrible picture. Anyway, really cute. So you saw the keychain one. It's cute. <laughs> you are featured a featured comment. Um, yeah, the cottage looms does a pot holder. Yeah. And, um, you know what trivia, I don't have any cottage looms. I haven't, um, bothered getting any and it's been a while since I even checked them out. So, um, I didn't know that. So that's good to know. Um, you ordered, uh, Alicia, you ordered the hot pad loom and the, um, an ornament from Citywood. Did you order the keychain as an ornament? I was thinking someone had said that they did that. This, this she, she say she, uh, she did that. Um, everybody's liking this. These messages are new. Did I miss software you're using? Yes, Stephanie. I think someone answered you already, but I am on this thing be live.tv and it's letting me broadcast and it's using my computer. Now I was hoping, I thought that it was going to let me like screen, like share what was on my screen. Um, I think there's another software called blue jean or blue jeans or something, but it's not free. And um, I'm all about the free. I'm sure you guys are all about the free. Um, it's not free. And um, I think it lets me screen share. Now I could do Google, um, like a like a YouTube uh, live and screen share that way, um, but for this Facebook broadcast, I can't do that. I haven't done a YouTube live in a long time, but if I ever did that, then I could have guests on like multiple people on. So, oh, Lori, it's your first Cindy Wood. It'll be your first Cindy Wood Christmas. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they, yeah, put it underneath the tree and <laughs> wrap it up and, and open it up and act like a kid. <laughs> you should totally do that. Or, or like give it to, give it to someone when it comes in and be like, okay, I kind of know what's in here, but can you just wrap this up for me? And I'm going to unwrap it at Christmas. Like don't open the box. So anyway, um, yeah, does Google still do hangouts? 
I think Google still does Hangouts. Um, I've actually done some private um, consultations for people um, with their channels and stuff um, on Google Hangouts, but I haven't used one in a while. But YouTube um, has a like a live presentation thing where I could create or can create something and I can give you guys a link and you can join me and type in stuff. Um, so there's a couple of different things. It's God, there's so much to know and learn, um, but I can do a split screen thing. So if I was to say, hey, Joanne or hey, Carol, come on and we'll do a thing. And so like I would be on this side and then, yeah, it would stop about here and then there'd be a split screen and then the next person would be right here. And then I can actually change it. I can like make it all me and then flip to all them, or I can make it to where it's like me, and then they're in the bottom corner, and then flip that, and then make it split. So like, but I try to do that with Carol, but she lives in this high rise condo building, and the walls are like thick concrete, and her signal, it just sucks, because it's like shared from with everybody else, and I feel very bad for Carol because <laughs> it makes it really hard even in our conversations and sometimes she has to move throughout her her space to find a better connection so I feel bad for her and it's I'm sure it's very frustrating on her end so um, Google Hangout still works you and your daughter use it all the time oh that's cool okay whoops I hit the thing um, <laughs> You and your boyfriend um, do that when you get your order. Oh, so you can open it Christmas Day. That's a great idea. That's great, Alicia. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, Ellie just realized she has a cottage loom. Forgot what it looks like. Don't really use metal pick on metal pegs. Oh, yeah, yeah, the metal pick on metal pegs. Yeah, that's hard. Um, now, um, there's two other looms that do that with metal and metal. Um, the... Uh, the knitting board has some old looms that were um, the metal pins and, you know, and that's or metal metal. They're like nails and I could not stand the nails. I just didn't really like them. And um, anyway, so I don't even use my old ones anymore. Um, Kelly has them with kiss looms and then they have like a U shape peg with like a, a hole and then the pin is in the back. So technically you're going through the hole um, instead of having like this routed thing. So once you get used to doing it, it doesn't really feel so much like that. So it has a bit of a different feel, but you do have to get used to it. So, um, so there's that. And then, um, the, uh, who else had something with cotter pins? I actually think I have an old Cindy Wood that had some, some pins, um, on it. It was, it was old though. So anyway, okay, so one thing I want to tell you guys about, so the last thing, and then I'm going to head out um, for the day because I'm getting worked up, <laughs> but um, let me see if I can grab this link. I'm not sure if it'll show, but have you heard of the Pattern Deal Patrol? The Pattern Deal Patrol is the um, the new thing. Um, Christy, um, let me see if I can hit the comment. It's not doing it. Good gravy. Okay, I'm going to do it in the other one. Here we go. Pattern Deal Patrol. Okay, it's now in the comments below, so you'll be able to see that. Um, Kristen is showing that right now. Hey, hi, Kristen. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, from Good Knit Kisses. Big hearts to you. Oh, thanks. Here, I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit the love button. That's what you do. You hit like, and you hover over love, and you just hit love. And then you can just keep doing it. You'd be like, hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. <laughs> anyway, Pattern Deal Patrol, woohoo! So the Pattern Deal Patrol is where um, you can go on the website. And Christy um, Halswart, she has been posting in our group. Um, she's been posting, I, I did a little picture, so I'm trying to find my picture here. Um, she has been finding the deals um, on loom knitting, needle knitting, yarn and crochet. This is my little image. So you'll see that on the website. And um, let me delete that. <laughs> so anyway, that page, if you will go there and bookmark it um, and just check out the deals because there might be like freebies. So if you like free patterns, that is the place to go. Um, I set up a spot for yarn and for other in case people have a sale. 
Um, so if you are a crafter and you have your own, or if you're a pattern maker or designer and you want a sale of yours to be known about, then let us know if it's just a regular everyday thing, then, um, it won't be on here, um, because this will be like for coupon deals or freebies. And so if you want us to know about that, um, let us know. And there's directions on the, on the site. You can comment, um, just use the template at the bottom and copy that and paste it in the comments and then fill in your information. And, um, and Christy will do that. She had been posting a whole bunch to our, um, Good at Kisses Limited Craft Club, Craft Club group. And I was like, you know what? You are really, really good at shopping <laughs> and finding all these good deals. And so there are a ton of things, a bunch of free stuff. If you, um, if you loom it, there is just counting them up quick. There's at least a dozen links here. Several of them are free. Um, I went ahead and just for fun, I did across the board 5% off of all my stuff. Um, I run sales every now and then, but I thought, you know what, for this, I'm going to run. If you are on the pattern deal patrol, you can always use that code and I don't have an expiration date on it. So, um, that code never expires and, um, you should be able to use it more than once. So if you are our doubt pattern deal patroller, use that. And if you find a deal, I'm going to call you on my patrol force and let us know. And then comment in the, um, in the link, um, in the comments on my site, and let us know about it. Okay. So what you need is, and by the way, there's a ton, there's probably a dozen needle knit stuff. There is a ton, a crap load, a ton as, as, a uh, as, uh, the people in uh, Canada would say a whack, there's a whack of, <laughs> of crochet. And, uh, there's one thing on the yarn, um, for now, I'm sure there's a ton more out there. Um, I put all of Christie's in there for, um, for her yesterday. Um, but she already had found all the deals. So she has full credit for it. Um, but anyway, what you need is, is if you have a deal, um, for a pattern deal patrol, you'd like Christy to know about, please send her. Uh, and I wrote a PM on, on Facebook, but I'd rather what you do is add it in the comments, um, below on that page, not in here. Okay. But on that page on my website. And, um, and then we recommend copy pasting the following info and then add your details later. It'll say attention pattern deal patrol. I have a deal for you, the store or product link the, so if it's like just a particular product that's on sale, then just do that. Um, a, the coupon code or write none if none is needed, um, deal active dates. So if it's like, if it doesn't start until a certain time, most of them, it would be like an expired by date. But if it's, um, if it never expires, then that's really great. And we'll leave it up on there, like always free. Um, we'll probably shove it to the bottom of the list because I want the ones that are going to expire quickly to go there. Um, cause some of these could be like a 24 hour thing. Um, the category, just choose a category, right? Loom knit, needle, crochet, yarn, or other. And if it's in multiple categories, just write multiple categories and then we'll copy them in the, um, in the uh, categories that we've got listed. So basically on that page is categories and you go to the category that you want and look. If it's in both, my intent is to put it in, um, two categories. So that way, because if people are looking, they're not going to go scroll through crochet if they don't crochet if the thing is for both. So I'm going to go to loom knitting and find that. Um, I just ask that you don't do affiliate links because I have to disclose um, with the FC, FCC, FCC. Yeah. Um, I have to disclose when something is an affiliated link and um, sponsored or something, and I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and uh, this is not for um, people to make money with affiliated links. <laughs> so um, if you don't know anything about that, that's cool. That's fine. But I'm just putting it out there. And that's why it says no affiliate links, please. Um, so that's, that's what that's for. Um, it's like a kickback kind of thing. And I have to let you know if something's sponsored. So, um, oh, you love my hair. I'm going to put your comment up because that's sweet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Stephanie says it made the loom too. You're using Cindy Wood. Um, oh yeah, it does have a large head on the peg. That is, um, that's my only thing with the Cindy Wood. Now, depending upon the gauge you use. Um, so if it is, I'm trying to think if it's less than three eighths, no, maybe her three eighths pegs are doing that. Yeah. I think it's half an inch and larger. All of them are the classic pegs, but then the smaller gauge ones and lower all have that, um, that nylon peg that has a, I believe it has a smaller head on it. And so it's a different experience. So if you need, a um, 
a thinner one and you want smaller yarn, you can just get a smaller gauge loom. So um, that that is a little tip on that. Um, Lori says, what size gauge does that oval loom have? Um, I don't know. I'd have to look. Um, a little tip about Cindy Wood. If you don't find it, just um, go to the Cindy Wood group and um, you can ask. But also Christy Hunter is your point of contact for the product stuff. And um, they can also make, um, I think they can custom make it or they may have some things that are available that they may not show on the site. And so you just have to ask them. That's the same thing with Kiss Looms. They're real good. Both of those companies are very good about getting you what you need. So if you're serious about placing an order, then ask them about it. Um, I would just say um, this is just a, a thing for anybody. If you are not actually serious about buying it where I mean, like you are ready to like spend the money on it, like I'm going to get this now, then let them know, hey, I if I'm serious about buying this. If you have this or can accommodate it and if it's in my price range, then how much would this be? And then let them know, you know, oh, that's too, that's too much for me right now. I'm going to have to hold back. But if you, if you're like, um, I don't know if I can afford this. So I'm not, th I don't think I'm ready. I'm not ready to place an order, but I kind of need an idea. Then you could do that. But I would just be upfront and honest with them because I've had different conversations, maybe not with Cindy Wood, but I've had conversations with uh, Kelly with Kiss Looms and, I know that, and she's so sweet and she probably wouldn't say this and hopefully it's okay. I say this, but it's very frustrating to have someone want to place an entire custom order when they've never bought a kiss loom before. Um, you know, and, and it's like, she's trying to accommodate all that stuff, but I, rec I would recommend getting one of the looms first and testing it out first and finding out really what your needs are, um, rather than, um, trying to get every single thing custom and build up a library of stuff. So that's really good for any loom. Like if you want to test out a loom manufacturer, um, just get a small loom that you can do some test stuff on and then, um, see how you like it and, um, and then kind of go from there. And that's good to be conservative with your own funds anyway. Right. So, um, anyway, uh, Ellie says, Cindy Wood is teaching me to not be such a tight knitter. Yeah. Because of the pegs, <laughs> the heads on the pegs. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it is tight. And, and I had done that like on their S loom. And when I was still young in my loom knitting days and e-wrapping everything, um, I got a Cindy Wood loom and I wrapped it too tight. And then the next time I'm like trying to knit over, it was like, oh my gosh, this is like super tight. And I was using a boucle and I like broke the yarn. Oh my gosh. Because a boucle is like this little thin thread inside. And you know, how many of us started using boucle yarn, um, the homespun <laughs> from Lion Brand? Oh, this is nice. And then you can't see the stitches and the yarn freaking breaks. <laughs> so, like, amen. I got a yeppers right here. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I hope you guys um, check that out again. It is um the uh, it, it's goodknitkisses.com slash pattern deal patrol. You put dashes in between pattern deal patrol. So goodknitkisses.com. And if you want to hit the search bar on that, then you just type pattern deal patrol. So, um, but Christy is doing it and I will be making every effort. So if I see something, I may add it to it. So um, anyway, you've been trying to loosen up, Lori. <laughs> loosen up, Lori. <laughs> um, Lori also, um, <clears throat> if since we're on the subject and I'm talking about both companies, uh, Kiss Looms, uh, if you want to learn how to knit a very even um, stocking knit that has a really pretty V's on it, um, the Kiss Loom is outstanding. Like hands down, you will get an even knit. Um, you wind it around pins and pegs and um, it's like the unit stitch, like the whole way. I mean, you can, you can do other things. You can do a ton of things on looms, on the kiss looms. But if you just want to like straight up do a straight sock in it that has a really pretty even knit to it, um, you can preload that um, winding around like this, like these. And then when you knit over, when it comes out, it's just this beautiful stock in it. So um, if you want to do that, uh, anyway, it's worth a try. 
So check out kiss-looms.com uh, for Cindy Wood Looms, um, type premium uh, knittinglooms.com or sin, C-I-N-D, looms.com. Um, Cindy, yeah, Cindy Wood, I'm sorry, C-I-N-D-W-O-O-D, uh, looms.com. So, and then you'll, uh, those are those websites. Um, so kiss-looms.com. And then we've got cindywoodlooms.com. Um, or you can do uh, premium knitting wood, uh, premium knitting looms, um, dot com. Anyway, so that's that. And, uh, oh, Alicia, marshmallows patterns is done on a kiss loom. I don't know anything about that. I know I have that marshmallow crochet baby blanket, but I haven't done that. I haven't made that on a loom. <clears throat> or you could be talking about something else. You could do a bobble. So anyway, all right, you guys. Well, it has been good to see you. Um, I will be back tomorrow and I will be doing a little bit of some knitting on, on this. And um, I'm going to go to a holiday party. So I'm definitely going to cut out here early tomorrow. Um, but I hope you have a great day and happy knitting and crochet. And thanks for trying out this live on the on Facebook on my desktop today. All right. Bye, everyone. Send me hearts and stuff. Where are my hearts and loves today? I haven't seen any. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all.